Hey guys! Welcome back to Kenshi, the most dangerous and non limb friendly game known to men. Return to the vanished kingdoms of ancient times. And there he is, the man of the mans, the master of all the martial arts. There is no fear in this man's eyes. Just strolling around all over the wastes in the world of Kenshi with a backpack full of hush. Oh. It's no other than our beloved John Claude Van Damme, still trying to find a place to sell his hush off to, getting enough money just so he can buy his two hyper friends a fine robotic leg each since both of them lost one last episode speaking of which those two cucumber fart heads are eating all of our hard-earned food rations up while contributing absolutely nothing to the team in the current state all they do is sleep eat and fart all day long in this tiny hut Hamut can't concentrate working on the research table under such conditions and it doesn't help to leave the door open. Please guys, just pull yourself together already. I've sent the rest of the team, the people who are actually still capable of some labor, out into the wilds to mine some good old iron ore. It's hard work and the pay isn't the best, but it's honest work in a somewhat safe environment. This should be a steady income for now, until Van Damme can find someone to sell his hush to. I don't know what is going on, but my computer is getting slower and slower over time. Even though I've turned down the settings to a bare minimum, the frame rates just don't seem to like me. Well shit, I think it's because of my graphics card. It's not the best anymore. I couldn't find any good sellers around the swamp area, so I think there's no other option than going back to the United Cities and sell it there again. It's not very profitable, but I don't care anymore. I don't want to let the team labor their lives away. We just need enough money for two working legs and then we can go on with our adventures. There we are again. Clown steady. The one town that just loves to fuck even the last bits of frames my computer can spare. We don't have to stay here for too long, so let's sell the hush as fast as possible and get the freak out of here. Hey guys, what are you doing in here? Just because it's night time doesn't mean you can stop working. No time for rest, okay guys? So get back to work. <laughs> Look at Beep staring at the floor. <laughs> He's so depressed. We will get you a leg soon, don't worry my friend. And while Van Damme is still on his way back home, we can send Blade out to one of those swamp villages. We need to find one of those robotic guys who can sell robotic limbs and preferably somewhere local. We are now in Mutt Town. <laughs> What a clever name. And it seems like there are no robotic sellers around here. Nothing really interesting here except for this bar. Well, let's see what type of people we can find in this bar, which are living in a place called Mutt Town. Oh, look at this cool dude, sitting there in the corner of this bar, all by himself. Oh no, his name is Dr. Chung. <laughs> in Japan, heart surgeon, number one, steady head. Okay, wow, that's a nice skill to have for one sure. One day, Yakuza boss need new head. I do operation. But mistake, Yakuza boss try. Yakuza very mad. Holy shit, are you serious? I hide fishing boat, come to America. No English, no food, no money. Well, that was kinda dumb. My big secret, I kill Yakuza boss on purpose. I could search him. So best. Wow, you're a fucking legend. So, and what else can you do? In Japan, hard to search it. Number one. All right, I get it. Let's get out of here. Hey, Van Damme's back at the hut. And look, guys, he brought a lot of meat for you hungry shitheads to eat. They are so happy, they can't even express how happy they are. <laughs> No guys, I'm done with this shit here. I can't take another look at those two poor legless creatures on the floor here. I just can't. So now, Blade and Van Damme are going to travel to the next city on the map to finally find us some working robo legs. Even if it means to go all the way back to Mongrel. I'm going to get those goddamn legs at all costs. First, let's head to the way station next to Squin. I can't quite remember if there was a robo limb seller last time we've been there. But it doesn't hurt to take a look again. Nope. Shit. Nothing's here. But I've heard of a city. A large shack city. Somewhere around this area. So let's go. There we are. The city is called Admak. And just like in Clown Steady, I've got those horrible legs again. I don't know what this shit is all about, guys. But at this point, the game is unplayable for me. You can hear it, but my graphics card is creating a nuclear meltdown right now, here in my room. It's not enjoyable at all. And I think I'm going to quit Kenshi for now. I just can't endure this anymore. Two weeks later. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a while since I've played Kenji the last time and I'm very sorry for that. But I'm finally back 
and we got the new dirty ass graphics card in this baby. Yeah, look at this. We are in the city called Admeg, and the game runs as smooth as a baby's ass, experiencing Kenshi on a whole new level. That's so amazing. I can't even describe how smooth everything works now. I've also read some of your comments, and you guys told me to go to a way station near the hub, just a couple of steps away from the swamps. There should be a guy that sells robotic limbs. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Here we are, in the border zone, and there's the way station. This must be it. Welcome, have a browse. Yeah, shut the fuck up, you tin can. Do you know how long I've been searching for you? I've lost the graphics card because of you. You know what? I won't even pay for those robotic limbs. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna run away from here as fast as I can. The problem is now I can't come back here for more limps. This robo guy hates me now. He will probably kill me next time he sees one of us. That means we can't afford to lose another limp from now on, guys. Hey Beep, Green, you can't stop crying like little b girls now. Look who's back! Van Damme and Blade are back from their adventures. And with good news, they got you one right leg and one left leg. Thank you, Mr. Van Damme. You are the best. I love you. Ah, uh, now get back to work. I think it would be the best now for the team to go off and do something that is more interesting than mining iron ore or searching for legs. I've got an idea, but before we go, we are going to let Mew stay put here at the hut. Let her mine some more iron ore or something. We just need the backup if something goes wrong on our adventures. I thought we'll go back to those swamp ninjas, search for them to get some sweet revenge. Revenge, revenge for pounding our asses. <laughs> Green still got nightmares from when they pounded his ass so hard his leg popped out of its socket. Those swamp ninjas think they are so cool stressing and harassing around helpless wanderer. Oh here, look that's the place. No, we just have to wait for ninjas to pass by. Oh, <laughs> never mind they found us before we even could start to search for them. All right you shitheads, show me what you got. Oh shit. I see red numbers. Don't show me those red numbers. Oh, that looks so bad. No, wait. I think we are lucky that we are more in numbers. They go down one after another. They might be quicker in their attacks, but we do way more damage. Not a good idea to wear towels for protection. Well, look at our attacks. That was a great success. Nice job, team. We'll go back now to the hut to recover a bit. And after that, we're going to check out this place right here. There seems to be an outpost of some kind. And a rune. Looks interesting. Alright, we're done here. Let's go. Oh, elephant turtles again. The majestic creatures of the swamps. What a sight. Here we are, at the outpost. Ugh, stinks like my musty old grandma around here. <laughs> Van Damme, what are you talking about? I've got a bad feeling about this one, guys. We're gonna have to check it out first. Make sure it's safe inside. Go and sneak in, Van Damme. But be careful. Oh, holy shit! Another base? Are you kidding me? That's the Red Saber gang. That's their base. Those are the guys that pounded our asses too. Just after the Swamp Ninjas were finished with us. <laughs> How the tables have turned. I've gotta have to take this opportunity for revenge. Revenge! But I'm not quite sure how. I can't just storm in and kill everyone. I have to try and lure a few of those idiots out of there first. So we can take them out one after another. Oh, someone's after us! Fast! Go out! But uh, he ain't hostile? What? Lost sheep in the swamp, eh? Yeah, we are definitely lost here. It seems like this is the Red Saber's leader. Holy moly. Whoa! He suddenly went aggro. Get him, boys. <laughs> Look what a bit of a unit this guy is. He looks massive compared to Van Damme. And he got the bounty of 10,000 cats on his head. I want this man's ass. Get him, boys. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Look at how big this guy is. Why would you make a man this big? His arm is as long as Beep himself. My, my. All right, Clown Steady seems to be the nearest city from here right now. So let's head there. With a bit of luck, we might be able to get the bounty for the Red Saber leader. I can't believe it. We are in Clown Steady. And for the first time ever, my frames are as steady as the city's name promises to be. Oh God. <laughs> 
I'm actually crying, man. Sensei, go get us our well-earned reward. Nice. 10,000 cats in cash and we got our revenge. What a great day. Since we're here, we are going to explore a little bit more around here. Going down to the south. I think it would be a great idea to start building our own base. But we need to find a location that is safe and has plenty of resources. The world of Kenshi is way too big to find the perfect place to settle down so easily. So I wrote the developer of Kenshi, Chris Hunt, and asked if he knew a good place to start out. He said the pits or the cannibal plains might be interesting places to build a base in. Well, I hoped he would suggest places like Cuddle Canyon, Rainbow Valley or just peaceful fields. But no, how about cannibal plains? <laughs> I think he just wants to see me suffer. But okay, I'll think about it, but not now. Look, we found the slaver's outpost. Poster! Oh no, Ray is still wearing the slaver's armor and they found out. No, <laughs> fight for your lives. Wow, we're actually pretty strong. Let's head inside. Maybe we can free some slaves here. It's kids play for Van Damme to open these locks. No go guys, you're free. Oh shit, 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 shit. From where did so many slavers got here so fast? What the hell? Run, run you fools. This doesn't look good. Oh no, those samurai guards are extremely strong. No, I don't stand a chance against them. Blade already got locked up. <laughs> they enslaved every one of us. Well, I guess that was not very smart of me. We should have run. Shit. Now we are locked up and can't get out of here. Ah, goddamn. I think this will do for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Use my Epic Games creator code so I can get money from it. Support me on Patreon, check out my Twitter and Discord. And again, as always, a really, really big thank you to my personal heroes. The greatest supporter of this channel. Thank you guys, you are legends. Hope you all the best and see you next time. Goodbye.